Hey, what's going on guys? I'm out here taking the dog for a quick walk and thought I'd just give you guys a quick intro to this video. Uh, I was working on a maternity session editing that last night and I had an awesome, awesome silhouette shot that I, that I took and I just wanted to walk you through my process for how I edited that silhouette photo. Now, this, these same techniques can be applied to every silhouette shot that you create. So let's just jump right into the computer and I'll show you how I did it. All right, so we're in Lightroom and I've imported all my photos. I've done all of my edits already. Uh, and this is going to be the final shot here. We're going to go from this to this. The other night while we were shooting with Frank and Kate, I was like, man, I really would love a big wide silhouette photo. And actually the sun isn't setting behind them. Instead, it's actually setting behind me. And normally I would have the sun set behind them, but because for me to get the nice silhouette shot, I got to place them up on an incline so I can have only the sky behind them. So this was the best place to do it. And first things first, expose for the sky. That is step one. So that's what I did. I exposed for the sky. After that, I can do anything I want to this image uh, for a silhouette photo. So I'm going to walk you through my edit here. What I do, it's very, very simple. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply one of my presets. I've been using this fine art preset that I've made for the rest of my images and they typically look like this in case you were wondering. Uh, so I'm going to apply that same preset to this image. After that, over here on the right hand side uh, in the sliders, I'm going to bring down the shadows. I'm going to bring down the blacks. I'm going to bring up the highlights and the whites. Pretty much all of these are going to be centered again. Uh, and then I'm actually going to bring up the exposure by a notch or so and I'm going to increase contrast and everything else here is going to stay the same. In the tone curve, uh, you want to make sure that you're seeing um, this here, the uh, channels, the RGB channels. Um, as far as like my tone curve goes, it's just like this backwards, it's like this D almost, it's like a backwards curve, a C almost, but I, you know, I like to call it the D here. So that's pretty much where it is. You can copy those numbers if you want. This is going to change depending on your shot, but don't worry about that so much. You're going to go into the curves here, the, the, the tonal curve for the, the color channels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with red and I'm just going to increase the red a little bit and push some red into this image. It seems fine there. And I might add a little bit of contrast and bring it, bring some blues back into the shadows. Uh, as far as green goes, I'm going to decrease the greens a little, to, little bit to give it some more pinks in the sky. And then the blue, I'm actually going to decrease the blues in the highlights and I'm going to increase the blues back in the shadows. And that's pretty much what you're getting. You can see the change there. Uh, we're done with tonal curve. Let's go down to split toning. Um, the split toning is where you get to really, really play around with your image. Uh, this is where you get to decide what color you really want everything to be. So I'm actually just going to increase my saturation like way up to like 45, 42, 45, somewhere in here and really warm it up. I really like, I want this to feel like sunset, right? Uh, and then in here, you can see what, what happens when I really crank the shadows. I don't want to over crank these. I don't want to turn it up too high. Um, and this is where you can kind of pick your color combinations. If you want it to be really, really warm all the way through. You can go with the red. Uh, if you want a mix of yellow and orange, just this is where you're pretty much picking the complementary color. So uh, you can go with a, you know, a purple or an orange. Um, whatever you want to do here is really up to you. Be creative with it. I'm going to kind of stick with this bluish color here. And I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. There we go. So that's that. Uh, and then we can come into the HSL sliders and really you can just play around with it and see where you get it to, to, to fall as far as like what you like. It's all preference here. I, this is just how I'm editing this particular image. Um, you can see I still have blues left up there. So if I wanted to really change up and you can see there's some like, I'm going to render this image out because it's driving me crazy. Wait for it. There it is. Great. Uh, I'm going to adjust some of the blues um, until I find something I like. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, I like that there. Uh, and up here again, I'm going to just increase the highlights and the whites just a little bit. Now, this looks pretty good. I mean, as far as where we came from, this is what it was. This is where we where we got to. I like it a lot, but I want to add a little extra pop. And to make this happen, we're going to use the radial filter. So just click on your radial filter at the top right, select new, select color. And in the color picker here, 
Uh, my hue is 37 degrees and my saturation is 64. That's the color I landed on uh, in my edit while I was doing this beforehand. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this color onto your image and we're going to position it to land behind them. Now, it's a little bit saturated. You can see this color doesn't blend with the rest of the image. So we're actually going to tone it down a little bit. Actually, that doesn't tone it down. Sorry. We're going to tone it down a little bit in here. And it takes a second for this to actually render out, unfortunately. There we go. And then we're actually going to increase the highlights. And that is as if the sun is directly behind them. And I love that. And I actually may bring the saturation back up a tad. Let's stick it back to where it was. And we're actually going to pull it down just a bit too. And we can see with it on and without, without it. So that's without it. That's with it on here. There we go. So like massive, massive difference. Uh, and you can increase the size of this if you wanted this to stretch a little bit more and kind of blur out and feather out. You can do that. Make sure your feather is on and make sure that this doesn't say it's, make sure that it's checked on the inverted. Otherwise it's gonna look like this and that's not as great. So switch it back, make sure it's checked, inverted is checked. And there you have it. That's essentially what you're gonna do to the image. Let's see how close my edit was to my original edit. I, it's pretty close actually, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, just play around, have a lot of fun with it. I love doing these types of shots because you can get really creative with it and um, it's just, it's really, it's really fun. Uh, and it's kind of a wow image for Instagram. Instagram eats this kind of stuff up. So uh, give it a shot. That's pretty much how I'm editing these silhouette photos. And I don't like this tree on the end here, so I'm gonna crop that out. Uh, and there you have it, that's it. All right, I hope that was helpful, guys. I'm a little out of breath. I'm walking up a hill right now, so bear with me. I just got to get to the gym a little bit more, I guess, but I uh, hope that was helpful. Guys, I want you to do something for me. Go check me out on Patreon. I have a whole bunch of stuff up there, some exclusive behind the scenes, email templates. All of the email templates that I'll be using in my business are going to go up onto the Patreon. This year, it's the start of 2020. They'll all be up in the next couple of months and uh, some other posing and prompt tips as well, along with so much other good stuff coming in 2020. Very excited to share it with you guys. But other than that, please share this content with a friend who might find it valuable. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.